we had a, a vision back in February of 2002. We let, let's follow up on this great new discovery by the Odyssey Orbiter that there's ice in the polar regions. But following up, the quickest we can do it is six and a half years. That's a long wait. You see, my hair's gone gray. I've, I'm turning into an old man while I'm waiting for this mission to happen. So now it's coming up, you know, I'm ready. And uh, it's been hard to wait so long. <laughs> You know, there's a, a lot of passion that goes into this mission. We had a kind of a debriefing last night at the end of our training period, our dress rehearsal, and I was telling people, this is a once-in-your-life adventure we're on, and accept that experience with your full heart because, you know, it's not going to happen again. We only land on Mars once, and that is a thrilling adventure. Get involved and, and just feel every moment of it because uh, don't sit in the back and pretend it's not happening or that it's just another test. This is real. Welcome to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, and we're about 77 hours right now from that sequence known as EDL. We're having a, a press conference tomorrow to, to talk about uh, the, the, the health of the spacecraft. As we sit here today, it's really very humbling what we've gone through the past five years. Hopefully the whole world is watching with us because this is really a mission about the, the, the world community going to Mars. That's the way I look at it. Are we going to see, are we going to see the northern plains in those first pictures or are we going to be just seeing solar panels? Today we are one day away from the entry into the Martian atmosphere and the descent and landing at the north polar region of Mars. If we land successfully and if we're able to do the science that uh, we've designed into this mission, I have every expectation that we'll be able to rewrite the textbooks. Go where there is no path and leave a trail for others to follow. That's what Phoenix is doing tomorrow. It doesn't get any more exciting than this. Welcome to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, and thank you for joining us for today's final pre-landing briefing for the Phoenix mission to Mars. I'm Veronica McGregor. The sky's clear. We've been watching the weather. Everything is set for us. <laughs> Have a sunny day. The rest of the day is just watching and waiting. Atmospheric entry on my mark. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. Expected peak heating rate in one minute and 40 seconds. Standing by for a possible plasma blackout. For those in another room, the question was, uh, is what's going to happen to the lander, I guess, after the mission's over and whether wind and other things might move it around. So it takes us eight hours to get up to 12,700 miles an hour, and then we have seven minutes to take that velocity down to zero. You'll see him scream and you'll probably see me scream and then I'll run off and get some champagne. At this point in time, Phoenix goes normally through peak heating. We still have a signal via Odyssey, standing by for reacquisition by direct to Earth. There's no, no second chance. There's no, you know, we're not going in an orbit or anything. We're going straight in and uh, there's, that's, that's our fate. Stop about the mechanics data and switch to 32K in 10 seconds. Standing by for expected parachute deployment. <laughs> parachute deployment trigger detected. Heat shield trigger detected. Ground relative velocity 90 meters per second. Land leg deployment trigger detected. Ground valve is lost in 60 meters per second. Then you buy for altitude conversion. Radar reliable. Altitude 2,000 meters. Altitude conversion detected. Altitude 1,800 meters. 1,700 meters. 1,600 meters. Standing by for land separation. Altitude 1,100 meters. Altitude 1,000 meters. Separation detected, we have air fighter signal, gravity turn detected. Altitude 600 meters, 500 meters, 400 meters, 250 meters, 150 meters, 100 meters, 80 meters, 50 meters. Come on. Constant 
drop space detected, not just 40 meters. 30 meters. 20 meters. 50 meters, standing back for touchdown. Touchdown signal detected. Alley in its sequence initiated.